Louisiana Beer Review Special Edition Stag Beer Revisited. Okay. This is 4.5% alcohol. I know because it says on the can. Uh, the website is worthless unless you're looking to buy apparel. Okay. If you want to buy caps, shirts, um, beach blankets, things like that, it's, it's okay. But to find information on the beer, it's not okay. Good date, guys. This was sent to me by, let's say, Mr. Let's call him Mr. Jacob. Mr. Jacob in Missouri sent this to me to review. Thank you, Mr. Jacob. Okay. Paps Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The, the uh, legal disclosure beer. Okay. Introduced in 1851 in Belleville, Illinois. Old small regional brew brewery that you have around like Pearl Brewing in Texas and so forth. Uh, <coughs> it was called Kaiser Beer until 1907. Kaiser Beer. I'll give you some idea of the heritage of the founders. Straw appearance. Thick head of foam. Some people still tell me you don't want a big thick head of foam and I'm still asking them why <laughs> no answer no response um, <clears throat> the company got bought out by Carling Carling Black Label you've heard of Carling beer still around mainly in England one of their top selling beers Carling and Foster's uh, if you find Carling in the United States you really found something Carling ended up selling out to High Woman. And then somewhere along the line, High Woman sold Stag to Pabst. I think it was before the 1999 buyout of, you know, Pabst buying um, Strohs and whatnot. All those buyouts. But here's an example of Carling. Carling Canada. Black Label Beer product of the United States of America. Can Canadian beer, brewed in the United States, founded in 1840. So that's another one of these buyout companies. But that was a big national in the 1960s. They, were, they had breweries all over the United States. Just too many beers chasing too few people. Same old story. Creamy head. Now, it says Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Paps owns no breweries. So if it's Milwaukee, Wisconsin, there's only one answer. And that is the Miller Brewery. Brewery. I don't know exactly where that is. I've been there many times. And it's not too far from the baseball stadium. Actually, it's pretty close. Just go down, go down the road west, jog south, then west again, then south. And you got to cross a river and then you can go right to the stadium. All right. So it's a contract product like all Pap Spears. It's got that sour lager beer smell, not like sour beer that you think of a sour, which is usually more like a tart. Lager sourness. Just get a bunch of different lager beers, Miller Genuine Draft, Pabst Blue Ribbon, Miller High Life, Old Milwaukee, Budweiser, Coors, and line them up. You'll get that sour note. It'll be, it'll be a little different for each, but it won't be much different. Just a stereotypical flavor, meaning you could use this as a prototype. If someone said, what does American lager beer taste like, adjunct lager, adding rice and corn? You could serve this and say, here's a, a great example. You could use Blatt's if you could find that. I wouldn't use Schlitz because it's a little hoppier than your average American. It's a little bit better than the normal. They might get the wrong idea. They might think it's better than it is. But it is really good. You know, but this slits kind of stands out. But, um, medium body. Slits also contract brewed by Miller. Just a different recipe. Medium body, crisp finish. It was a clean glass. Just washed it. 
nice lacing. Crisp finish. Have they changed the recipe? I couldn't tell you that either. <clears throat> I'd have tweaked it. Here's the can I bought back in the 90s. They've changed it a little bit. It's Deer head is a little smaller now. Well, yeah, but it's practically not any difference. Okay, uh, Heilman Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Heilman Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so this is already being contract brewed at this time, August eighth, twenty eleven. Okay, never mind. This is. After the buyout, it's already being done. I've got that can somewhere. I'm on a road trip, most likely to Chicago or to St. Louis to see the Cardinals. Complaints. Um, can't think of any. 4.5, that's a good ABV level. Don't get too much alcohol in your system. Easy drinking. Copacetic, quiet, calm. You know, Schaefer was around the same. We never got an official ABV on Schaefer. People make claims, but I haven't seen anything official, but it's probably around 4. It tastes like it's about 4.6. Another, another jewel that we used to get in Louisiana, and I used to buy it all the time. Olympia is another one that... Northwest Regional. I did find this in Baton Rouge one time. Strangely, uh, same thing. Mid fours, ABV four to five percent, easy going product. Like the Carling. Oh, I found the Olympia Dry. Remember back when we had the dry days, dry beers. Uh, yes. Score. You might notice that I tend to give the ice beers, Bud Ice, Ice House, Natural Ice higher scores. I just find they got more character and action, something about the ice brew process. They're not that much better and the price is the same, but that's just what I prefer. They just got a little bit more excitement, but these are very nice. Um, would pair well with fried shrimp, maybe some steamed mixed vegetables. So, uh, I think 90 out of 100 is a fair score. 9 out of 10, a 90 A minus. Can't go wrong with it. I don't know what the 12 packs cost. I could do some research on that. You could probably. The problem is I'm doing this review, but most people can't get it. If you live outside of that, St. Louis, it's kind of like, I think, this is my thinking about it, it's like 30 miles west of St. Louis, and then maybe 70 miles east at the extreme. So it's like a bubble that's mostly east of St. Louis, southeast, northeast, and then that's it. You don't see it. <laughs> kind of like pearl beer. Go to Texas and try to find it. You'd be lucky if you ever see it. You might. But you probably won't. Uh, 20 years ago, yeah, you would see it everywhere. 25 years ago, they had it here in this parish. We don't have counties. We have parishes in bottles. Still got one of them. All right, so anyway, enough talking. Uh, nice product. I'm glad I got it. Thanks, Mr. Jacob, for giving me a chance to try it once again. Um, let's see these bottles here. Um, La Crosse, Wisconsin, Highwoman Brewing, yeah. Detroit, Michigan. So this is that's before the buyout. They had a white label, then they went to back to gold, to gold or back to gold after the Stroh's buyout, and now it's Paps. All right. So I don't know. Things changed along the way there, but anyway. So laissez les bon temps relay. We're gonna end this review by saying, drink the beer because the the tour is there's no point to that. It doesn't exist. It's just contracted and they probably produce it at night or you'd never see it on the Miller tour. Thanks for watching this video production.